Yeah, try again, my friend. You should build a new one. There we go. Hi. There we are. How, oh, you look beautiful. I love that oh, color. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so inspiring to hear the stories. And every time when someone tells a story, it just tugs onto my heart as a mother. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lizelle. I'm from South Africa. And um, just about seven months ago, I was sitting right there where you are sitting right now depressed, not wanting to get up in the morning. I was already working in my beauty salon, which I started because I wanted to be flexible. I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I wanted to be in control of my own time. But I ended up working so much because I needed more money. And when I needed more money, I needed to book more clients. So at the end of the day, I was missing out on my kids growing up. Um, I was getting home at night, not having time for anyone because I was peopled out. Now, if you are, have been in customer service or if you've had clients, you will know what that means. You are peopled out. You don't have time or energy for anyone else. And I remember my daughter coming home the one day. Now, think about it. I was working extremely hard. And put in the comments there, if you are working hard, has working hard ever made you rich? Because I can tell you, I have worked my butt off in my life. I've always been a hard worker and it has it was just never enough. And the, the point in my life came last year when my daughter came, I've got, I'm a mother of three daughters and she came off to school and she gave me a letter from the school that she already wrote and she, that the school wrote and she read it. And the school said, you are not allowed to bring your child back to school if you don't pay up the school fees. Mm. Now that day, I went home and I locked the door and I cried in my pillow. Oh man, I get so emotional. Sorry. And um, no one was seeing my me crying in the pillow because I was just asking the question, when is this going to stop? When is the surviving going to stop? When is, when can I, can I just have a life with my children and just enjoy it? Life cannot be this hard. And I remember I was, this opportunity found me. I actually didn't go looking for it. It found me. I had this woman come into my beauty salon the one day. She spent over 13,000 on her face. And I was like, hey, what do you do for a living? I live in a small town. That's big money. And she was like, okay, uh, she does digital marketing. And I remember asking her, what is it? And I went and I Googled about it. What she didn't know was I was desperate for change. I was so ready. I was just not willing to go work for a boss anymore because I also know what it stole from me. I missed my child's little one's first concert. She didn't have a mommy with her because I had to get onto a plane to Johannesburg for business. I've missed out on a lot and I was done missing out on life. I was done living by the bread line. So I attended a webinar like much like you are today and I attended this webinar and I remember hearing people telling me the amount of money they were making and I was sitting there saying to myself, if they can do it, I can do it. But a million sounded just too good to be true for me. So I gave myself a target and I said, if I can just make 20,000 Rand a month, then I would be happy. Now 20,000 Rand a month is about $1,200. That's what I wanted to make a month because in my mind, I was going to still be in my beauty salon, still working and do this part time because I was so desperate for change. Five weeks in, I completely left my beauty salon business because I know I knew then what I found. I found finally a way to work smarter, not harder. I mastered a two hour workday. I made 1 million South African Rand in less than six months. I'm standing at 1.6 million 30,000. I am so close to 2 million this year. This is what I've made this year. I am making more in a day than I did a month in my beauty salon. You can come up with so many excuses that you're sitting right there. But let me ask you this. How desperate are you for change? Because change is a click away, literally. I didn't, I had no idea what digital marketing was. I had no idea what I was in for. And I remember saying to myself, if I will, I know myself, I'm a hard worker. If I follow this step by step, this step-by-step -step system that everyone's talking about and it doesn't work then there's something wrong with the system now let me tell you this lady sitting in front of you michelle o'neill she told us 
that this system is proven to work and it converts 50% and she gave us all analytics. I'm proof of telling you that it 100% happened, happened exactly the way she explained it. If you are willing to follow a step-by-step -step system and get out of your own way of feeling insecure, feeling that maybe it's not for you or always thinking, looking at your past, thinking that that's just the way life is. I'm here to tell you, you can change your generational wealth. You can change that generational struggle that you've been struggling with. You can change your future. It takes one person to put in the work to change everyone's life and it will touch your family and your children's life. Thank you so much. So question for you and congratulations on all your success. Didn't you just make a purchase? I did, I did. We bought, uh, guys, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I had time to tell you all this story. When we moved after COVID, we moved into a house that I didn't want to move in. At night, I had to take bed sheets to cover the windows because I couldn't afford curtains. That is how bad it was. And I was so shy about our situation that I didn't tell anyone about it. I didn't go visit anyone, didn't want anyone to come visit me. And left, right and center, people were buying houses. They were living it all up. And yeah, I am struggling. And since we started this business just about a couple of weeks ago, we bought our dream house on the water in the marina. We're gonna, we have a boat over there. It is, I have to pinch myself daily that this is my life right now. So you can just imagine, this is why we're so passionate about it. Because once you feel and experience this freedom, you cannot help but want everyone to know about it. Especially if you have been struggling, you know how it feels. Mm, I love that. I'm so proud of you and congratulations. I just, I love to see what's going on in South Africa. And this is just, you know, you think about it. Like I created a piece of content one day. Yeah, I got pushed to South Africa and Cecilia seen it. And now look how S South Africa is just exploding and all the lives that are changing. So thank you for being you and for being an amazing part of our community. I just, I appreciate you thank so much. Thank you so much. I say to Cecilia, she's got a lot of babies now because she was the first millionaire in South Africa. And the ones are coming up. The seventh millionaire is on tonight. Her name is Nambela. She is on and um, we are really changing South Africa's whole footprint over here. So when, when the time is ready, she will be happy to see you.